Welcome to our demonstration of the VMware vCloud Networking and Security Logical Network Consumption and Edge Gateway Deployment. In this demonstration, we will learn how to consume the logical networks that are created through the VXLAN preparation process and how to deploy an Edge Gateway device to provide different services required for the two-tier application. First, let's take a look at the lab configurations. Here we see two clusters, Cluster 1 and Cluster 2. Each cluster has two hosts and some applications deployed. In Cluster 1, we have a two-tier application, which has a database tier and a web tier. Also, we have vShield Manager and its plugin, Network Virtualization, deployed in the vCenter server. Through the vShield Manager plugin, we will demonstrate Edge Gateway deployment and configuration. Let's see the current logical networks available for consumption by clicking on the Network Virtualization tab. Here we see a web virtual wire, which is a logical network created with Segment ID 5001. Also, there is another logical network, DB Virtual Wire, that is created with a Segment ID 5000. Now we will check the current network setup for the two-tier application virtual machines. Here we see that the database server is connected to VM Network 1. Similarly, Web Server 1 and Web Server 2 are connected to VM Network 1. We'll move these two-tier application virtual machines to the VXLAN logical network. We select the virtual machine and click Edit Settings. When DB and Web Virtual Wires are created, an associated port group is created for each virtual wire. We will move the database server to the Database Virtual Wire port group and click OK. We then repeat these steps for the two web servers and connect Web Server 1 and Web Server 2 onto the Web Virtual Wire port group. After we connect the virtual machines to the logical networks, we will demonstrate how the two logical networks are isolated from each other and from the external world. Now, let's see the communication between Web Server 1 and Web Server 2. Here we see that we can communicate to Web Server 2, but not to the DB server. Also, these logical networks cannot communicate with the external world. Let's now deploy an Edge Gateway device to provide firewall service between these two logical networks and to provide communication to the external world. There are no Edge Gateway devices deployed in this setup, so we will create a new Edge Gateway device. Let's name it Edge Gateway 1 and enable it in HA configuration. We have three options for the size of the Edge appliance. Compact, large, and extra large. For this deployment, we'll choose the compact mode. Next, we'll choose the cluster where we want to deploy this Edge appliance. Let's choose cluster 1 and then the data store where we will store it. Also, we can choose the host on which we want to deploy the Edge. Click Next. In the next step, we will configure the interfaces of the Edge gateway. You can configure 10 interfaces on this Edge device. First, we will configure the external interface for the Edge Gateway and name it External Interface. Next, we'll choose the port group to which this Edge Gateway interface will be connected. In this case, the external interface is connected to VM Network Port Group, which provides access to the external world. Now, we will assign an IP address 192.168.110.80 for this external interface. An additional IP address for this interface is created to help deploy load balancer service using virtual IP. We won't configure other available properties and just click Add. We can also choose to create other internal interfaces for the Edge Gateway device. For example, we define the new internal web interface. Next, we select the Web Virtual Wire port group where this interface will be connected. Then, we select and define the IP address for this interface. Similarly, we can add another interface for the edge that will be connected to the DB Virtual Wire port group.
Now we have configured three different interfaces on the Edge Gateway. Click Next. Here we define the default gateway configuration on the external interface as 192.168.110.2 and then click Next. We'll skip the firewall and HA configuration here. After verifying the interfaces for the Edge device, we click Finish. Here we see that the Edge Gateway is deployed. The Edge is in HA mode and thus has two instances of Edge Gateway virtual machines. We can now configure different services such as firewall, DHCP, NAT, VPN, and load balancer on this Edge Gateway device. This concludes our demonstration on vCloud networking and security logical network consumption and Edge Gateway deployment.